What's next for NASA's InSight lander? Hey everyone, I'm Jessica Sugnanan, and this is your Daily Pitch. A team of scientists and engineers accomplished a major interplanetary feat, landing what some are calling a robot geologist on the surface of Mars. This is the now viral video of NASA's mission control in Pasadena, California, erupting into cheers when touchdown of the InSight lander was confirmed. InSight has already sent back several pictures of its new home, so now that it's safely landed, what will the lander do next? InSight is short for Interior Exploration Using Seismic Investigations, Geodesy, and Heat Transport. In other words, its mission is to study the deep interior of Mars. Here's how InSight's principal investigator puts it. We know a lot about the surface of Mars, we know a lot about its atmosphere, and even about its uh, ionosphere, but we don't know very much about what goes on a mile below the surface, much less 2,000 miles below the surface down to the center. NASA says it's essentially performing the Red Planet's very first checkup since it formed more than 4.5 billion years ago. InSight is loaded up with a bunch of tools. A seismometer will take Mars's pulse, measuring seismic waves from Mars quakes. The heat flow and physical properties probe will take the planet's temperature, burrowing down 16 feet into the surface. The rotations and interior structure experiment will check the planet's reflexes by measuring how much its north pole wobbles when it orbits the sun. NASA plans to send humans to Mars as early as the mid-2030s, and the InSight lander is an important step toward that goal. I personally have to say, these first, the first day, the landing day, and these first couple of pictures of a place no human has ever seen before also remind us that in order to do science, we have to be bold and we have to be explorers. For more videos like this, be sure to follow your daily pitch on Facebook and Instagram, and subscribe to us on YouTube.